Let's jump right in. So uh, news from Russia. Uh, you know, Ukraine's been on uh, much of the defensive at the beginning of this war. It's been on the offensive in the last few months, really since the summer, where it's made significant gains on the ground. Well, uh, today it was reported that, uh, today and yesterday, I think it was reported that uh, a couple of Air Force bases inside Russia, close to Moscow, uh, one of them actually close to the Ukrainian border, the other closer to Moscow, have been attacked by drones, uh, by Ukrainian drones. So uh, Ukrainian taking the offensive uh, into Russian territory. That is, that is really, that hasn't happened much, not explicitly in this way. Um, they've attacked Crimea, but Crimea, they, they claim is their territory. This is actually inside Russia. Uh, I think it's great news. I, I, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's good news that the Ukrainians have the capacity. It's good news that they have the guts to do it. Uh, it's good news that the Russians start feeling this in their home territory, while the Ukrainians, I think, smartly are not targeting civilians. They're targeting military facilities. They, they blew up two um, uh, bombers, as far as I can tell. Uh, and um, so, uh, you know, good news, good news ultimately. And uh, I think a shift in the war. Uh, I think we might be surprised this winter at the uh, extent of Ukrainian advances. Uh, against the Russian forces on the ground in spite of the weather, in spite of the cold. I think Ukraine is far better positioned to fight uh, under these conditions than are uh, the Russians. And, and of course, we know uh, that there's a huge gap in motivation between the two forces, which is uh, crucial and huge at a time, uh, a time of war. Uh, we will see how the West, uh, the United States and Western Europe views Ukrainian attacking Russia in Russia. Uh, when the United States supplied the Ukrainians with long-range uh, artillery, the HIMARS, they uh, they adjusted the uh, you know they adjusted the weapon system so they could not be used to attack targets within Russia. Um, the Americans do not are saying they do not want the Ukrainians to be on the offensive. Uh, or at least they, they're saying that they perceive the Ukraine attacking Russia on Russian land uh, would be escalation that the United States would not support. So um, it, we'll see if they respond in any kind of uh, negative way to uh, uh, you know to uh, to these attacks. Hopefully not. Uh, Ukraine has to do whatever it needs to do in order to defend itself. It needs to do whatever it needs to do. In order to um, in order to get rid of the uh, uh, get rid of Russian forces from Ukrainian land, and if that means uh, attacking Russia where Russia is, then so be it. You notice that the saber rattling around nuclear attack has kind of dissipated significantly. So, uh, which is which is interesting, which I suggested all along that was an, incredibly unlikely that the Russians were actually serious about it. Um, all right, we got Tessa from Copenhagen. That's cool. I, I, I assume we've got, we, on these shows, we'll get more Europeans. Uh, we will see. Maybe it has something to do with the topics I choose, but uh, uh, we'll see if we get more Europeans given the time of day. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, so uh, on the ground in Ukraine, things are very slow. Uh, the Russians keep attacking this one city uh, or town uh, in eastern Ukraine. They've been attacking it for months now. This is the Wagner Group. This is really a group of mercenaries. So this is a kind of a private military uh, that the Russians have used all over the world, particularly in Syria. They've been attacking and attacking and attacking Bakhmut, I think it's called, or something like that. And uh, they still haven't taken the town. So uh, a lot of fighting around there. There's a lot of fighting in other places around um, around east, uh, east and northeast uh, Ukraine. Uh, nobody is gaining anything so far. The, the, the Ukrainians seem to be chipping away at the Russian defenses, but everybody's kind of hunkered down for winter. But as I said, I expect Ukraine to make real gains this, uh, this winter. 
All right, so that's for the Ukraine war. I'll update you periodically about what's going on there. Um, but it's, it's kind of, there's not much to talk about other than this attack uh, relatively deep into Russian territory, which is kind of a first for the Ukrainians. And it shows how drones are going to change warfare completely. Uh, drones are dramatically going to change warfare. You've got suicide drones that the Russians are using, and you've got uh, missile-bearing drones. You've got a variety of different drones out there. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, drones have been used now for 40 years, but they're really coming into their own. They are becoming a dominant weapon system uh, on the battlefield. Uh, let's see... Uh, what else did I want to say about Ukraine? Yeah, the only other thing about Ukraine, as you probably know this, is basically Russia is taking out all the electrical power, all the energy supplies into Ukraine. Basically, they start, they're trying to freeze the Ukrainians into defeat. So they're trying to destroy the morale within Ukraine so that Ukrainians just give up. Uh, Ukrainians are going to have, civilians in Ukraine are going to have a very, very difficult winter uh, with, with very little electricity, and, um, and 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 uh, very little heat, and it's it's going to be a struggle. But I have a feeling, my again, my sense is that um, this was not uh, this this will not defeat the Ukrainians, or it will not subdue the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians seems highly motivated to fight back and to win this war. All right. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.